Well, I guess HTP wicks are gone now. 2020 just can't stop messing with us. I know everyone's freaking out. Uh, any Anyone that uses HTTP Wix, I guess. Uh, for those of you that don't, you probably could care less. But for anyone using HTTP Wix, some of you are freaking out right now. Do I have to retest? What do I do now? What Wix should I use? What's a good alternative? Well, time out. There's some good news. Well, let's start with the bad news. The bad news is, is your current HTTP Wix are being discontinued. That part is true. But there is some good, hopeful news as well. Hi everyone, my name is Wade Thomas, owner of Black Tie Barn Candle Company. Welcome back to the channel, or if this is your first time, then welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a hot current topic about HTTP Wix being discontinued. So, as I mentioned before, the bad news is that is true. The good news is they're not completely gone. They're just being re-engineered. So what does that mean? It means you might need to retest. It means that uh, there might be slight differences between the previous HTTP Wix and the new ones. But not all hope is lost. The good news is, is that HTTP Wix aren't going away, they're just being changed. Now, you might be wondering why, why would they discontinue HTTP products just to put them back out there? Well, it's the actual uh, manufacturer of the yarn, the thread that goes into the current HTTP Wix, that is going out of business. They're no longer going to be making that yarn, and so the manufacturer of the Wix themselves can't use the same yarn in those Wix, which means they've got to re-engineer them. Good news is, they're working on it. And better news is I've already started doing some of the testing for you. And so I've got uh, several sizes, pretty much um, every size that I've ever used of HTTP Wix. If I remember, I've got them uh, 52 all the way up to size 105 or 126. These are the new re-engineered Wix that I'm working with here. Um, I started testing them already and I'm gonna be doing a lot more testing um, over the next several weeks. So stay tuned, I'll probably do another follow-up to this video to, to give you my final uh, results and my final thoughts on these new wicks. But I just wanted to let everyone know that I do have these new re-engineered wicks on hand. I'm going to be doing some testing. I'm going to give you some feedback that I have to this point so far. Now before I get into the details of my testing to this point, um, I do have to say that I don't have an ETA when these HTTP wicks are going to be available. Um, I am testing them from the manufacturer right now, but I do not know when they're going to be in the hands of distributors. Um, or being distributed to your suppliers. So for example, if you buy your HTTP Wix from Candle Science or Flaming Candle or Lone Star or wherever, they're gonna sell their current ones till they're out of stock. But I do not know when they're going to have the new ones in their hand. I've asked for that a couple times. It's still too early in the process. Um, at this point, I have not been given any kind of ETA on when new HTTP Wix will be to the suppliers. So. My advice to you before we get into the to my, my feedback so far on these new Wix, uh, my advice is to uh, keep using what you have, um, if you have any. Some suppliers are not out yet, so if you really do use HTTP Wix and that's the only good Wix you have, then uh, I would buy them up as you can just to get you by for now. Um, so that's the obvious option. Um, the second option is to start working on testing a, a, a compatible Wix. Now, um, there are a lot of WIC options out there and it's really hard in one video to be able to tell you uh, what options to choose because it's all going to depend on your uh, your waxes um, that you're all using, your jars that you're using, your oils, all those variables, right? So I can't really just tell you what to replace with your HTTP WIX. Um, that being said, uh, there is hope on the horizon here and hopefully these start getting to distributors and then to suppliers sooner than later. So um, hopefully you've got enough to hold you over for now, or maybe you've got something um, as a backup. When I'm doing my own testing and creating candles, I always have my kind of go-to wick, and then I have my second option, um, just in case I ever run into a problem. I mean, we're always trying to make the best candle we have, or we can, but whenever we are going through our testing processes, we tend to, we tend to learn what our second best wick option is for a particular jar and wax combination. So if you know that, you might already have a backup plan. Anyways, let's start talking about what I've learned so far about these new HTP re-engineered wicks. Um, the first thing is physically examining them. Now, to just the naked eye or to quick look, you're not going to notice any difference at all, which is which is good. That's a good start. Um, the one in this hand is the original wicks. This one is the new re-engineered HTP wicks. Now, just an examination. I'll try to hold these up. I don't know that you're going to be able to tell, um, you know, in the camera. But the way the threads, I'm going to try this, but 
I don't know how beneficial it's going to be. I'll see if I can get it in focus for you. Might be too close. I need to get my head out of the way. It's wanting to focus on my head. Ugh, out of the way. Is that working? Maybe a little bit. All right, so the thread pattern is very, very similar on uh, the new one and the old one. I apologize if this is not doing any good, but I wanted to give it a shot. So the thread pattern and the way it's woven together is extremely similar. In fact, I haven't been able to tell much of a difference at all. The biggest difference that I see physically on the wicks, which could also impact the burn, is I find, well, let's let's remember that an HTP wick is a flat braid wick. All right, that means it's tendly, it's gonna tend to be a little flatter than it is round, and that helps it curl a little bit. Um, and it's got high tension paper threads, it's actually what HTP stands for, and it's got those paper threads woven in with the cotton to kind of make this, this pattern. This is a flat braid wick, and with the original HTP wicks, to me that was very obvious. Uh, it, it, it had a little bit of a round shape to it, right? But it was mostly flat. Um, you could tell that one side was wider and one side was thinner, giving that kind of a flat look. Um, the new HTP wicks are very similar, but they are a little bit more round. Um, now, I, I thought it was maybe just my mind playing tricks on me because I'm looking for a difference, but I've examined them throughout and I noticed that overall they're, they're maybe just a tiny bit more round. They're still flat braid wick, they're still not completely round like a cord wick or anything like that, but they are, I, to me they seem a little bit more robust I guess, a little bit more full. Um, but just, just barely, like I don't know that you would even notice it. I actually noticed it more on the smaller wick sizes than I did on the bigger ones. Um, but there is a slight, slight more roundness to the new ones. So what does that mean? How does that impact the burn, if at all? Well, that's what I'm gonna get into next. Now I'm gonna show you a little, uh, several little video segments of me lighting the wicks, um, You know what it looked like when I first lit it. Um, we're gonna check it every hour and see how they're comparing to uh, the previous wicks. Now, some of these jars, I did not show the video of both the current and the previous. Um, I, I mean, I had them going, but I forgot to do it in the video. And so I'll, I'll do my best to just kind of explain real quick what I'm seeing. Uh, but then a couple of the jars, um, it, it's in the gray, it's a crackling birch candle. Um, I did do them side by side, so you can see a little, you know, you can see for your own eyes what, what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and get into that. So let's move three hours in. So definitely got that good melt pool. Um, really happy so far. One thing to note is the flame looks a little higher than what I'm used to. Just barely though. Um, and then I also wanted to show extinguishing that flame so we can look at some of the, uh, the afterglow and how long that smoke persists. Now I apologize, I was holding the camera while I was doing it, so a little shaky there. And you can see just a very, very small tip of a mushroom, so nothing bad at all. Um, that little bitty mushroom head there you could just knock off um, or remove. And so I'm not even worried about that. I would say maybe a tad more mushrooming than normal, but that could be because it was oversized a little bit. And then we're going to check it here on that 6006. Now that's starting to flicker quite a bit, starting to get a little tall. Um, and then we'll extinguish that. And once again, not much afterglow, which is good on either of these. Um, I'd, I'd say the afterglow, which is how long it, it continues to show that it's burning a little bit. It has that glow, almost kind of like when you're having a you know a fire pit and, you're, and you've got some coal still burning. You get a little bit of that afterglow with HTP wicks. Um, I, I saw less of that uh, in my testing so far. So now I want to look at lighting two of these side by side. The one on the left is the original. The one on the right is in the new HTP 62 wick. Now you can see when I lit both of them, they look very, very similar. I'm trying to get side views and top views, and I don't notice much of a difference at all at this point. Um, both very steady, both very similar. Good start. Now we're an hour in, and again, they look very, very similar. They're both curling very, very similarly. Um, the melt pool is very similar. Um, the height of the flame is pretty close as well. If anything, the new one may be a, a, a tud, touch more, but at this point, a little bit of variance is doesn't really mean anything. Every candle has a little variance. Now the three hour mark here, I would say the melt pool is a little deeper on the new wick, 
but not by much. Um, and again, it could just be a little bit because the wicks were tiny off center. Um, the flame profiles look pretty close once again. The leaning and the curling is pretty close. Um, but if I had to say just from this test too, from this test that you know the new wick may be burning just a, a tad hotter. And then here is time to extinguish them. And I wanted to get a final look all the way around at the flame, see what I was noticing, if anything. They're both looking really good at this point. Um, a little bit taller of a stalk and a little bit higher of a flame on the new one, on the right. Um, some of that flickering is just me because I've been moving around the candles, but I, I'd say the flame on the right is a tad more robust. And then I took a picture after I... Uh, I, I should have taken a picture before I blew out one of them or after I blew out both of them, but I wanted to give you an idea of the melt pool. Um, it's it's a little hard to, to interpret from this picture, but the new one maybe was a tad deeper. Again, we're talking a millimeter here, so it's it's nothing to really make a huge deal out of. Okay, so what have I learned so far from initial testing? Well, and I've done more testing than, than what shows in this video to this point, but I didn't want to just bore you with the same repeating process over and over. And I've been taking some notes, and my my initial suspicion has been a little bit confirmed so far to this point. The, I talked about the roundness and the robustness of the physical wick um, on the, the new wick. And I wondered if that would cause either a more robust flame or a hotter flame or maybe a little less curl. I didn't notice very much of a difference in the curl. But I would say so far my testing has shown that while they're very, very similar, which is great news, the new wicks so far have been a touch hotter and a little bit taller of a flame. Now, I've only tested in three or four different candles to this point and two different waxes. So that might not hold true across the board and that's why I wanna do some more testing over the next several weeks. But I did wanna give you my initial feedback. Um, but the biggest reason for this video was not, not just to give you some feedback on testing the new wicks, but just also give you a little bit of hope that uh, many of you are uh, hearing that HEV wicks are gone and discontinued. And I wanted to let you know that while that is true, they are working on a on re-engineering them. So hopefully the final testing uh, and the re-engineering goes successfully and they can start getting these new wicks in the hands of their suppliers and distributors. My, I would tell you that at this point I've got, I've got a lot of hope and I'm feeling pretty good about the results. While I noticed maybe a slight difference, it's really close. And so my HTV 73 is very close in both of them, which is really good. Um, so I wanted to offer that as some hope. Um, I would still always encourage retesting because it is new wick. It's something changed, so you, you should retest. But the good news is, is that you already have a really good, reliable starting point. So if you have a lot of candles that are using HTP 73, I would put an HTP 73 of the new HTP wicks and start from there. And if most likely you're gonna be pretty good or pretty close. And if not, you might need to adjust up or down one size. But that's it. So far my testing has shown that these new HDB wicks are very close to the original ones. So I hope that is good news. I hope that gives a little bit of, uh, you know, ray of hope to all of you that, are, that use HDB wicks a lot and are worried about where to go from here. Um, I will try to do a follow-up video here in the next several weeks or, or a month after I've done more testing, but Hopefully this helps out so far. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, but otherwise, fingers crossed that everything goes well and these hit the market sooner than later. Hope everyone enjoyed this video and I hope I settle some nerves for some of you out there as well. So uh, stay tuned for more future videos. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and we'll see you next time.